All right. Okay. So this is all about clock reactions. Let me show you what a clock reaction looks like. suddenly a signal sets off. And in that particular case, that's, the, that's known as the iodine clock reaction. And that's one of the simplest. Um, I'd like to demonstrate, if I can, how this works with you guys as, as, as the demonstrating tool. Um, so this is kind of a general outline. These aren't meant to be chemicals of any kind. You know, it's, they're not chemical symbols. Uh, but basically, two reactants react together in a very slow fashion to form this T substance. T is a, a, transit, a transitory species, uh, and it reacts with what we call the limiting reagent. That's the one that eventually runs out to form X, which is some waste stuff. Uh, then, when this L runs out, <coughs> at that point, this T can start reacting in large quantities with this I, which is an indicator, which sets off a signal. Now notice, this reaction is slow and the other two are fast. So, what I thought is, and I haven't tried this before, um, is we're going to divide people into three groups. Going in with that. Uh, I've got a few more clock reactions to show you, <coughs> uh, which are a little bit more intricate than these ones. Some of the mechanisms of these reactions are completely unknown. There's, there's a lot of information about these that's not known because they're so complicated. There's usually at least four reactants involved, which is a very complicated system. And this one is an old one, and uh, sometimes referred to as a Halloween reaction because it gives you some quite Halloween kind of colours. So I'm going to put this one in here and then both of them in there. Involves the uh, involves uh, iron in the three plus oxidation state, which some of you will learn about at that stage, uh, and again has more than one color change. some more volunteers. I need 10 people to come up and line up along the front here. So people the closest to the front would be best. Okay, so you're going to be person number one. You need to be furthest over this way. Person number two, you need two beakers. Not highly toxic, but please do wash your hands before you leave. Uh, I'd rather not. <laughs> okay. We need one more person by the look of it. I don't know if we counted wrong. Is this is somebody who hasn't got one. No, we need one more person. One more person on the end, please. <laughs> oh, sorry, Brittany. Okay. There we go. So, when I give you guys the mark, I'd like you to turn around and mix the two solutions. Mix them in the bigger beaker, or you might get an overflow. Okay? You ready for that? I'm going to set off some music. <laughs> right, so, if everybody could turn around first, so everyone can see. 
then uh, I'll give you a 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay? 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> I know one of them's gonna go wrong. show you today, but I promise in future there will be a little bit less colour changing and more fire and bang uh, There may be various other things to come yet as well. Uh, so thanks very much for coming and remember you're always welcome to come back and the videos are up on YouTube.